Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Love to Scrap for Fun, here to show you my Daisy Junk Journal that I'll be selling on Etsy here in a couple days. Um, this is a 6 by 9 by 3 inch spine, very thick, has 4 signatures in it. It has a fabric tie. Um, I did hand embroider this daisy on denim. I drew it myself and broad, embroidered it. Added some buttons, machine stitched around, made kind of a little fringy cuff there um, with a touch of the, the same fabric that this is made out of um, underneath with a pocket that holds a tag. This is lightweight um, yellow gingham fabric. Um, I embroidered these on the back and put three um, yellow buttons, sewed them on there. And I machine zigzagged around the perimeter of it. And it is um, does have a bubble Meller envelope sandwiched in between the fabric and the lightweight card bar, uh, cardboard and the cardstock. It, um, I embroidered the inside of the front cover, some daisies with some stems, and I added a window pocket from um, an envelope with a side pocket. I added some 3D daisy stickers with a ladybug and it also does have a pocket on top and I included a lot of um, images from my porch prints that have lots of daisies and I'll try to stop saying um I catch myself saying um a little too much <laughs> so I'll really try I did put a, a holder for a pen and I'm including this orange gel pen along with this junk journal. I made a lot of denim tags just like I did in the sunflower one. Some denim tabs with um, daisy buttons and there is a ladybug button there. There's five of these. And I also made a lot of ruffled tabs out of the same fabric as the tie. There are um, beaded, um, the signature ties are all beaded with daisy accents on them. This is a, there are two of these butterfly clips in this journal. And this is the My Porch Prints images. I backed this one on index card. And this is a large doily. There's a couple of these that I folded in half and added them in there for pockets. You can slide it in there or behind it. And this is a large orange envelope that I put in as a page. It has a pocket inside. And there is a small um, little mini journal notebook with some lined pages. And this has the daisy napkin and I machine stitched it in white around the perimeters of this. It's a pocket page with some tags, note cards that have coordinating colors and daisy themes. This is one of my daisy stamps. And this is a avocado dyed uh, book page paper zigzagged with orange thread 
and there's some gauze behind a daisy sticker. Coffee dyed papers, and I also stenciled some accents on them, like along here. This is one of my stamps with the denim blue ink. Butterfly stamp. Graph paper. There's like four pages of graph paper. There's some orange line notebook paper. There's a couple of these writing papers. There's two of those. This is a copy dyed um, cardstock. This is a fabric decal from a roller ribbon, a daisy ribbon that I adhered on to the ruffled tabs. More lined paper. Lots of writing space. There's at least four of these pages or maybe three. This is from a gardening book and it does have daisies on it. it tells you about daisies, the daisy chain there. Here are some decorated signature ties with some plastic beads and the, the fabric daisies. And there's the other side of the garden page. The three pages of lined paper here. Lots of writing space. Graph paper, coffee dyed papers. And there's a little side pocket with another little mini notebook. Has a tie with a couple of buttons. And it has some transparency uh, plastic on both sides with some vellum stickers of daisies. Side pockets with some little note cards. Lined paper to write on. This pocket goes this way. You can also put something, tuck something in there if you wish. And I added the 3D uh, daisy stickers over some gauze. There's the other butterfly clip. Some more My Porch Print um, digital images that I printed out. I backed this one on Manila um, folder paper. And this is just a, a page. I used coordinating scrapbook papers to give that daisy feel. Here's the upper tuck. I had a yellow doily behind it, machine stitched around the edges. Put some more of those fabric doilies. And this is printed out on cardstock. And this is a pocket page with a um, tag with a denim ribbon and my one of my daisy stamps. And here's one of my wax seals that I imprinted with a butterfly on there. And this opens up and you can do your journaling on here and I keep it closed with this paper clip I just tuck that in there and it's machine stitched around the edges pocket page with some more ephemera digital images daisies that's an index card on the back this is a little pocket more lined paper and graph graph papers 
And this is the other side of an envelope. And some tucks with some, some blank tags so you can do your own writing on them. Another wax seal with gold embossing ink on it backed on some fabric. And I handmade this envelope out of some scrapbook paper that I had. And here's a little tuck on the front of it. With some a postcard, daisy postcard with some machine stitching and some ephemera to write some notes. It says, things I love, author and title. Something of interest. Here's um, a journal card tucked inside the envelope. And another little pocket with a two-sided cardstock paper turned into a tag. I added an eyelet, a gold eyelet, and some jute. More writing pages. Lots of journal, journaling spaces on this. There's one of my stamps. Daisies in a watering can. Coffee dyed papers. This is um, from the garden book. Has some daisies there. And the other side of it. And this is the second signature with the decorated signature ties. You can either let them hang out. I staggered this one so only one of them hangs out so you don't have so many of them. Or you can tuck it back in there like that. Coffee dyed papers, writing, lots of writing papers, coffee dyed cardstock, butterfly stamp, another ruffled tab, more graph papers, and the, the orange line paper, pocket page. Here's a, um, some, a journal card, and I made two little matchbox mini matchbook mini journal notebooks with some lined pa paper. And they're both identical. And I did glue the middle of the ties so they don't come undone. I put a little bit of glue on there. There's a side tuck and there's one of my wax seals with a bumblebee with some gold foil ink on top of a book page and some string. There's another little pocket with a daisy ephemera. Some more images on cardstock. This is a clear pocket made from packaging, out of packaging. And this right here is, is adhered on top of there. And there is a nice little envelope. You could put anything you want in there. I didn't, I don't have anything in there, but it's a nice little envelope to keep your little treasures in. A pocket with more ephemera. Here's a, um, a flash card that I stitched around with some book page and a scrap of paper and a little um, journal card that tucks inside. And this is one of those bank envelopes that I cut out of some um, gold dye um, cardstock. And I added some tags to go inside from coordinating paper with the same kind of mint coloring. This cardstock has, it's, um, has dots on it. It's embossed dots. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, there's another doily and I adhered that doily to this coffee dyed paper to make a pocket and another tag and ephemera. And I did some stenciling on here. 
and there's a stamp. And this is some daisy paper that I had found at a thrift shop that I included a few pages of that. And there's some lined paper, coffee dyed cardstock, more lined paper for journaling. There's like three of those pages there. And here is a color page. There's some daisies and a hummingbird and butterflies. And there's a side pocket there with some stationery. And here is um, a Miller envelope that I made as a page. I put a pocket on both sides here with some index cards. I didn't stamp them or do anything to them, so you have plenty of space to do your writing. Not everything is going to be decorated, of course. And there is um, the 3D um, stickers, daisy stickers, and there is some gauze fabric underneath it. It says, pick a posy, and it does have side pockets on each side, and it's just double-sided cardstock that I ink the edges in, in yellow. And this is a little tuck right here with some couple of tickets. And here is another pocket with some index cards. And here's the belly band. And this is a vellum envelope. And I ordered these off of Etsy. These, and I love these vellum, and I can't remember who it was I ordered it from, but I added an index card with an, a daisy image, machine stitched it, and I machine stitched this closed because vellum doesn't, glue doesn't take to it very well, so I just machine stitched. Here's the other side of the color page, and I did ink around that with yellow ink, Tim Holtz ink. Here's some more writing pages. Here's a fabric flip up and I did use a piece of denim and I embroidered some daisies and there's some green stems and leaves on there and the back of it doesn't look too bad so I just left it as is and I added some ribbon with a couple of buttons on top. And there's one of my stamps and here's some more writing pages um, daisy paper coffee dyed papers more another doily and I decorated that one with napkin and um, a sticker and it says sunshine and there's part of a yellow doily with some fabric and the fabric daisies and some more journal cards. This is a flash card with the image on it. And that's an index card with the image adhered to it and machine stitched around the edges. And this is a envelope that I decorated. And this is from a notepad. There's like, oh, four or five sheets of notepad pad paper in there. And it says, super hot items, warm items, want to get done, but LOL. Want to get done, but LOL. <laughs> I never really read them <laughs> until just now. And here is um, a tag. And I ad adhered um, from a planner. Some pages off of a planner on there and I adhered it and it came right back off because of this type of um, tag it was it came in the mail and I covered it up it was an advertisement and nothing adheres to it so I stapled it on there so it's on there pretty good and I love this striped yellow paper I machine stitched it around the edges. Pocket. Um, so I decorated that. This is a tag that I had in my stash. 
Um, so I added some daisy stamps along with the other stamps on it. And just, this is just paper with an image on it for writing your notes. And this is a, this is the napkin on top of a book page underneath. And I cut it with my zigzag stitchers, uh, scissors. <laughs> I machine stitched it with orange thread. And I made a collage page using different scraps of stuff. And I did paint this. I drew it and painted it with my watercolors and cut onto white paper. And then I cut around the edges and I adhered it on here. And I signed it right here. And some graph papers. There's like three or four graph papers, three graph papers here and some lined paper. And this is an envelope pocket with a bingo card that says sassy. And this is just a journal card. I thought the colors complemented each other there. And this is one of my favorite stamps, an old 50 Chevy pickup. And I added some of the fabric uh, daisies on there on top of the um, mint and white gingham fabric. And then it opens up like you can tuck it in like right there and you can open it up. And I added some paper to write on. Some black and white images of daisies. Crazy for daisies. Now if I could get it in there. Hope I'm not boring you to death. I'm trying not to say um. And here is a um, envelope that I made into a side pocket. Two-sided scrapbook paper with coordinating colors. And I cut out a picture, P-I-T-C-H-E-R, picture out of a book page. And then I... Um, edge inked it and kind of crumbled it up and inked it with the yellow Tim Holtz ink and I added this little notation that says hello sunshine and I I used some strips of sc scrap paper from here on top of the the manila envelope and added the 3d daisies on there <clears throat> so it turned out really cute more writing pages. There's about four or five of these lined papers. And this is some parchment paper, yellow parchment paper. Coffee dyed papers. There's a daisy stamp there. I love the coffee dye look. And this is vellum making a belly band, and I machine stitched it. So it's not going anywhere. And a journal card that I stamped on the back. This is from a calendar. My daughter says they're sunflowers. But they're just close-ups of yellow daisies. There are yellow daisies out there. I, I'm pretty sure these are daisies. <laughs> and inside the top pocket is a little manila folder uh, made into a small uh, mini journal. And again, I glue the inside of there so it doesn't untie and it just looks like a pretty bow. And there's the pocket with a tag. Did some machine stitching there and some lined paper for notes and pages from a daily planner. And a little tuck with some more little papers to journal on. And that fits just right inside there, but I'm just going to put it right there for now. And this is a tag with a tuck uh, with a pocket on top with some writing space on an index card. And that goes just right inside there. Here's 
This is the last signature. Here's the decorated signature ties. Reversible daisies. And beads. My daughter says they look like pineapples. But I found these cool looking yellow beads that were at Michael's. And they had them on clearance. And I thought, oh, those look really good with my daisy journal. With all the yellows. And here's the other side of the belly band with the vellum. And there are daisies on that vellum. Gold printed daisies. And some, a note card that I stamped on the back. Machine stitched around. There's a stencil of a butterfly on these coffee dyed pages. And here's the yellow parchment paper. And the lined papers. And the coffee dyed card stock with one of my stamps. Some more. There's the other side of the lined paper. And then there's three sheets of graph paper. The other side of the collage. And um, these are the vellum daisy stickers I had. And I added a ruffle tab. And then the last pocket page, there's the fabric daisies and there is a decorated guest check and this is a little envelope with a little tag inside and it says seeds of love and I will close that later <laughs> and that's it and I did embroider this to look like sunshine on the back inside of the cover and more 3d daisy stickers it says yellow is my favorite color and that's the back and this is the tie that goes around you could put it on there however you want and there's the embroidered daisies. I tried to center them on there as best as I could. And with this, whoever um, ends up with this, you will also get a little denim pouch that I embroidered some daisies on. And I am going, I have yet to make the little mini journal that goes inside of it. And it's going to be really cool, but I just haven't finished it yet. But you will be getting this also. So I will be listing this in my Etsy shop, probably, what is today, Tuesday. So I will give you a day's notice and I will list it tomorrow evening by 8 o'clock p.m. And that's Mountain Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.